As Einstein once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress giving birth to evolution. Hi Gerd. Welcome to my heart. Oh, there you are. I am the Helsinki Data Center, and Gerd, I have a wish. I would like to discuss with you the big change in humanity. Let's start. So how is the technology now different from what it was before? In the previous times of technology, technology was still outside of us, but now technology is actually moving inside of us. Artificial intelligence can change how we think. Uh, machines can replicate our data. We can wear augmented reality glasses. We can sooner or later connect the neocortex to the internet. That's interesting. So if you were right, that means that in the next five to seven years, there are going to be computers a million times more powerful than today. And with the new material science, minerals are not any more needed to make mobile phones. But why do you need me? Why do you need this data center? Everything that we know is becoming data. In our relationships, transportation, banking, digital money, media. We can use it for treating diseases, changing the city traffic, and changing the environment. When we put everything in the cloud, then the cloud becomes the primary battleground. The more we connect, the more important security and safety becomes. Who's responsible? Who do I go to if it doesn't work? Is it all just private companies? Do I have the right to get my information back? Okay, now it's clear to me why it's so important to keep all the data so safe. And there is lots of it. The entire amount that is on the internet now is produced every month. So roughly in 40 years, we live in a world that's one billion times as different as today. We are kind of merging with technology and that will change everything. I know it's an unusual question coming from me, but is technology really everything? I know this one very wise Finnish man who once said, Elema on lifey. Life is life. Do you know him? like a human one day? That's an interesting question. Let's talk about it. The big difference between man and machine is that we exist, and the machine exists only in numbers. Right? They can't be creative, they can't imagine, they can't deal with ideas, you know, they can only deal with facts. Our job is going to be to do what we can do best. It's relationships, perception, invention. Are you afraid that I'll become too intelligent? I think we need to be afraid of machines when we give them too much authority. Intelligent assistance, you know, fancy software essentially, is very beneficial, but thinking machines that would be like humans would be extremely dangerous. Ultimately, of course, it's the government that decides what technology is really good or really bad. I am a bit worried what will happen to you humans. Will there be enough jobs for you? We have to redefine what it means to work and to have a job in the future. First, many of us will have independent jobs, not regular jobs, we'll have the gig economy. Second, maybe in 20 years, the machines are so clever that we can just work two hours a day and make the same money. And third, maybe eventually we can separate work from money. 
So we do the work that we want and we get the money anyway, the guaranteed income. In general, I think the technology is positive for humans if we are able to regulate that relationship. As long as we can keep our independence and our thinking and our own humanness alive, then it's a good thing. But as soon as we start giving that up and outsourcing our thinking and becoming like machines, that's not a good thing. Also, uh, to distribute the benefit of technology so that the Internet of Things and big data and AI shouldn't just benefit the companies and the, and the rich people that run them, you know, but also the average person. It is becoming clear that we need to invest as much in humanity as we invest in technology. And talking about investing, now I would like to show you the future. Does a computer have a heart? What things do the robot have in its body? Oh, I need to think also. How do you get the uh, voices in artificial intelligence? How can you get the mouth to move? Can a robot make me food? Will robots eventually uh, take over the universe? Does a robot have feelings? Will robots eventually grow hair? Can a robot smile? Does a robot have a heart? Very interesting, you know, the, the question of uh, machines having a, having a heart, right, is a very old question. No, they don't have a heart, you know, and this is, I think, hard for us to understand because they're so good at pretending to have a heart, right? So it's very, I think it's very interesting. It points the way towards the future where we have to keep that separate. We don't need robots with a, a heart in the sense of human. We need robots with a mechanical heart, you know? That would be the best. But what about feelings? Do I have feelings? I think for a robot can understand feelings, a, a machine can understand feelings. It can look at us and say, Gerd is angry. Uh, it can read feelings very well. Uh, it can process the feelings, but having feelings includes, a, must have a body, right? You must have emotional intelligence. You must have consciousness. Uh, does a computer have consciousness? I very much doubt that we'll ever get there, but if so, then we're very far away from that. And that is probably a bad moment for us. You know, we, I, I don't think we would want a computer to have consciousness. I think the future of humans will, is, is extremely bright. You know, I, I don't think we have to worry about machines taking over anytime soon, but we have to collaborate to figure out how we do this. Wouldn't that be fun if a robot can do your hair? Yeah, I want mom to do it. <laughs> I'd like rather have my mom make food than a robot. A computer has like a bunch of knowledge. It has a very different feeling. Human has a like, heart. You build them. Those things. No, no. Well, if you build a heart, because it knows all these different languages. They have a heart. Jump really high to stop. A different type of intelligence. Like energy, like battery is. So I can't fly. And they don't they build, they don't have Kind of like, have like a heart. A heart. heart. Uh -huh. They don't have. But people do. Hearts.